Yeah, I'm recording. Um, yeah, I just had like two seconds ago. I just had like an awesome escape, but um, expert wasn't working at the time, and yeah. Ooh. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the button, get the button, hit the button. Uh. Uh. Come on, come on. What the put? No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Opening. Are you guys really going up in there? Are you guys that stupid? That's the exit! Oh my god! Please! Please! Oh my god! Yes, go on the ride, please! Give me 50 cents for freak's sake! Holy crap, you guys are... Are you guys that's... Can you not enter something? Oh, well, if it's not open. Well, I'm stupid. Okay, dude, dude, dude. I'm gonna give you the, the day of your lifetime. And now go in the ride. Really? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just drag you into the middle of nowhere. Good luck getting back up, man! Good luck getting back up! This also might be over commentary too if it's too loud. Uh, what the look how big a park's gonna be? A few nights before the SummerSlam pay-per-view. And we are starting off with arguably a main event level matchup here tonight. We got Kevin Owens. One of the men that hacked Aiden English and Shinsuke Nakamura at a live event a few weeks ago. And they are set to face off at the SummerSlam pay-per-view, Kevin Owens, and the other person who attacked Shinsuke Nakamura and Aiden English, CM Punk versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Aiden English. But tonight we have a mini feud selling match right here. Uh, Alright, welcome back guys to another video. In this video, we're back. And this is a video. It's a special kind of video. Like, I'll be completely honest. I've been waiting to make this video for a while. And it's showing how I've changed over the three years that I've been on YouTube. If you take a look back at the first clip in Flood Escape, that was my first time... Like, actually using the microphone for a YouTube video. And the story behind that is I got a headset, but I didn't know it had a microphone on it. So, like, I was, like, recording with the headset in. And then I didn't, like, I recorded a video and I heard me talking in the background. And, like, family members talking in the background. I was like, wait, how'd that happen? I looked on XSplit and apparently I had, like, a working microphone. So, later that night, I hopped on, um... I hopped on Flight Escape and decided to record some videos. Next video is shown is a, a little small clip. It's not for my best video, but it's a video of a game I did on Parkitect. And I, I enjoyed that game. I never played it since. But it wasn't my best quality work, and that's why I want to keep it in there for. Because, like, the YouTube is full of its ups and downs. And that, that wasn't one of my best videos. I'd say it was more of a down than an up. And the 2017 clip is taken from a WWE 2K17 Universe Mode episode. It's a new era. I think it's like episode 4 or 3, something, I think. I don't know. I forget. And then that leaves us with today. Today currently is April 16th, 2018. It's been three years and three months I've been on YouTube now. Four months. But, like, it's it's been real fun. I have, my content has changed so much over the years. At the start, I was only doing Roblox. Then I moved on to Minecraft. Then, like, I did Minecraft, like, two years. Moved on to WWE 2K17, LEGO Worlds and stuff. And then I eventually, like, just st stuck with um, WWE 2K18 and 17. And now it's my, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite's the game on my channel. That's going to be the game I'm going to be looking back at in a few years. But, like, yeah, that was a game. 
I really liked back then. I really had so much fun with. This isn't meant to be like a video you're going to watch and have like a lot of fun watching. It was just meant as like a little flashback lore situation. So remember like all of the other times we had on this YouTube channel and all of the fun times. And I, I personally like... <laughs> I think I did really well so far on YouTube. I I didn't get any shouts from famous YouTubers. I'm just trying to just try and move up the rankings, and it's going slowly. But I'm gonna keep on trying hard until I'm able to move up in the YouTube rankings. And I've had many friends along the way: a uh, Jared, Jared, Ethan, W dude, Zach. Um, it's hard to think of him, dude. Wagga, dude. I think he still watches my Fortnite content. You're here, Wagga. Thank you. Uh, I remember Ruth Curry. Do I remember uh, Doug Survival? That was one heck of a series, which part got can like canceled because of griefing. And like, I was think it was Ethan. Ethan's thing that got griefed, but I think it was. Nah, it just broke down from there. But, like, my voice also changed greatly over the years for the better. Because I was a squeaky boy in 2015. I was a less squeaky boy in 2016. I was even a less squeaky boy in 2017. And now I don't think I'm squeaky anymore. So that's always good. And I'll continue pop pop popping out these content and stuff especially with these new music videos and stuff i'm trying out that's like currently my new i'm just trying to out see i'm like dipping my feet into the water of the beach there's so much to be explored in that category of videos it's just i don't know if the water is cold hot or just freaking right i also did have a time where i moved on to gta 5 and let me just tell you guys something the re i i played wwe games like, I got them the the day they came out since WWE 13. Let me just tell you guys, I would have recorded them so much sooner. But I felt like that it just wouldn't be right for my channel. I wouldn't know how to commentate it, annotate it. I just wouldn't know how to do it rightly. And some of the games weren't exactly PG like Grand Theft Auto. But I just said, you know what? F it. I need to try something new on my channel. I haven't gained any subscribers in a long while. And I just I just tried every content I could and now it's moved on to this channel now, which I upload a variety of content, not just Minecraft, not just Roblox. I upload a lot of things. And one last thing that I'm just gonna say, it's a huge coincidence. The, um, the game I'm on right now is x Gaming X Weekly Report. And I'm being serious this time. I am planning to bring this back. Not necessarily on Roblox, but I am planning to bring it back. Um, but this game was made on April 16th of 2015. So that was the day I'm recording this video. So I gotta say that's one of the hugest coincidences ever. And I randomly clicked on this game from about the 15 of them that I made. And I'm, I, I swear to God, dude, I don't know how I managed to choose the one that was specifically made on April 16th. But I'm not gonna argue, man. I do hope you guys enjoyed my content over the years. And believe me, there's many more years to come. I hope you guys stick around for these epic ups and downs I'm going to have. But I'm hoping we gain a larger community here. Because the community we already have here is great. But it doesn't hurt to have more and more people come in, join, see like, oh yeah, I, li I like this dude, you know what I mean? And if you don't enjoy something I do, tell me. I can always, I always just try to just do what? is popping at the moment like if y'all don't want to see fortnite content i don't have to stream it which i do love fortnite and it does give me some good content but if you if you like if you guys want to see more Roblox content just let me know it's just we, we have that kind of relationship where you know you tell you tell me like yeah i like this and i'll probably bring it back it's like that sort of thing except minecraft that crap's a little that's probably gonna be the most popular one too but I do hope you guys enjoyed, and I know I have my OBS up in here, but, you know. And at the start of my YouTube 
career, I guess. It's not even a job, but career, I used XSplit, and I did a few videos with Bandicam, and then I started using OBS, which has been a huge improvement. And at the start, I did not edit my videos, I did not make thumbnails, but like, I think in 2015, tw no, 2016, I start making thumbnails near the end of 2016. Make thumbnails for each one of my videos, and I think that's when my quality of my videos improved a lot. And I think it was for the best, but I think I already ran it on long enough, and I could be doing this all in XXWR, so I'll see you guys on Tuesday.